time for another video another tutorial and this is going to be quite a long one so don't just sleep while i'm sketching don't sleep while i'm doing it and uh, and just like before i don't want you people to be you know left out so i'm gonna record some audio narration some really stupid jokes and stuff like that so that you don't feel bored while you're watching this video and this is something different that i'm doing this time i'm doing a portrait of Goethe the German philosopher and this is not a photograph that I'm using for reference actually this is a portrait of a sculpture a sculpture in stone white marble so actually frankly speaking to tell you the truth this is the easiest thing to do this is probably the easiest sketch I have done in my life because it's very easy uh, to you know imitate a sculpture because sculptures they don't usually have that much of details unless um, unless of course you are you know drawing something from angels and demons or something from Vatican I don't know that those are very complex but this is a very simple uh, head bust of, uh, of German philosopher Goethe okay so just like I have told you before the way I draw it the way the sketch it is like I do the outlines first and then I fill in the gray areas which I have already done and then fill in the shadows and I use the color of the paper for the highlights very simple but and that's the way i use it i try not to use the eraser i just try to avoid it as much as possible it's unavoidable but i just i just sketch in a way that i don't have to erase anything and just like before here you go the details i'm smudging it in uh okay this is going to be a really boring process i think um, you agree with me i guess uh his hair uh, they're looking like this now i'm gonna gonna shift to the left side uh and i think uh, i should tell you that again okay, uh, it's very important the way i sketch it first i look at the reference photograph i you know try to take down as much as details i try to make a plan how i'm gonna approach a certain sketch how i'm gonna draw it and in this one as you can see uh, i think you will see uh, after a while how i approach a pencil sketch and you know, specifically how i do the uh, blueprint first I almost have the details fixed you know how i'm going to approach a certain highlight angle and everything what the hell i'm just rambling i think now i have nothing to do here we go um I'm just rambling, I think. There's nothing to talk about. about this. this is really boring. Probably I should put some kind of music. Uh, but then you cannot make money out of a video. Don't you know that? <laughs> okay. Uh, and then again, I'm just waiting for the point where I sketch the uh, um, blueprints for the, the outlines for the left side of his hair. And then I can tell you what I'm uh, something that I want to talk about, something, some kind of information that I, pass, I want to pass on. I just wait for that moment. Come on, come on, Bobby, come to that. Too much is enough. Oh. None are more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. Whatever that means, that's something Goethe said. Master Strokes. Here we are. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is the drawing of the outlines, the kind of a blueprint of the areas that I'm going to sketch. At the beginning, you can see the outlines of his hair that I've already drawn, but now I'm creating the outlines for his hair that I'm going to use. I'm just drawing these outlines on everything. See, the idea is you have to deduce your drawing, you have to approach, you have to deconstruct your reference image, exactly what you want to do, exactly how you're going to approach it. So the first thing that I do is draw the outlines and fill in. Um, this is the gradient that I'm doing, the shade, not, you know, shading of the gray color of the gray gradient, how it's going to look, you know, where it's going to be a bit darker, where it's going to be a little bit softer, so that later on you just merge it into one another and uh, later in the in the last part comes the of the, the shadows just drawing the dark areas just like this one that i did see you can actually just keep look you know rewind it back and watch it again rewind it back and watch it again how i reach the final you know the final result from just creating some outlines this is exactly how i do um, uh, every single drawing that i do this is exactly how i this is the method that i follow i do the outlines first i try to 
you know understand what the the effect i'm going to reach uh, the left side is already done now i'm going to do the right side and this is going to look really messy because even when i was sketching i i it looked really messy in the beginning just the outlines this is exactly what i'm doing see i'm leaving some some of the strokes just there just uh, in between because i know later i'm going to smudge them and when you smudge something then you you got a natural flow of um, the shade and everything there uh, there you go you sm i'm smudging it right now smudging helps a lot and if you have some you know you know the way you want to approach it you want to draw it now you just fill the black areas and this is not finished not even close to being finished but i think this is the gist of the drawing this is how you are supposed to do every single drawing you deconstruct it and you start from layer zero from white sheet to your outlines to filling in the details this is again very messy it might not look make much sense right now but, but when you see the finished product and when you see the finished result then you i think understand exactly what was going on down there is filling in the dark areas and smudging them in this is actually uh, half of the in right side yeah now this is where the second half starts once again i'm going to do some outlines uh very interesting to look at now you know when i'm sketching i really don't think that much i just keep drawing and when yeah, when i know that a certain area is going to be totally black i just do it and just do it in the first step just smudge it in no here, here you go smudging in I think it's very important to master the technique of smudging otherwise it gets really hard. Okay, and now coming in from the right side again more strokes. Now this line that you see the wavy line at the bottom that you see is probably going to you know become part of uh, another curl on his hair on in, in his hair. Uh, okay looks now look at the right side of the hair if you can notice you know in the beginning it didn't look that impressive but now when it's finished it looks really good now i'm doing the forehead the forehead it doesn't have much of shadows it's going to have most of it there you're going to have softer gray color over here and so i'm just doing that uh creating the gradients i think this comes with the practice uh exactly what kind of effect that you want to achieve i think you I I always use my fingers because you can control the pressure that you want to apply to get these uh, gray scales and these gray shadows and this always helps always does because you can control your finger and, and this is another suggestion if the area is quite wide and you are trying to create some kind of gray uh, gradients the gray shades then you simply start use your finger and you know put your finger under a cloth and use a cotton cloth to smudge it just like i've done it on the forehead and this is not the finished result of the forehead i'm going to do a, you know there will be a lot of improvement done to this but this is the basic background that i've already got so this is going to get better now i'm going to do the uh, eyes if you can see on the lower side the eyes i have i have some very bold details already sketched out and this is what i'm going to follow these are the outlines and now i'm going to create the secondary outlines uh in, on the left eye uh, thing uh, this is a very distinctive style i don't know I, i cannot explain it in words how i do it but i think but by looking at it you will get the idea how exactly i approach uh, sketch and drawing another a uh, more of gray gradient and now i'm going to just finish the um, i think this this area in this spe specific drawing it's mostly black the eyes are mostly black so i'm just going to fill in all uh, the complete black shade to this and just going to finish it love does not dominate it cultivates uh, another quote by goethe i don't know if it's just me or like uh, here or in this portrait they actually look like jeff bridges here you know, don't they So Goethe and Jeff Bridges they do have something in common eh Now this is the eye and sculpture because in the sculpture drawing you don't really have the way to draw the pupils and everything and nothing like that is there so it's quite easy the eye is almost finished i think uh, it's quite easy as i said drawing this kind of a portrait is quite easy uh, i think dark and the eye a bit more yeah just leave a glint there this is okay and then smudging again smudge it again simple as that Just trust yourself then you will know how to live quote by Goethe So this 
leaves you with almost finished left eye and I'm now I'm trying to achieve a proper level of gradient uh, proper level of shading on the left side mm. now the forehead and the bridge between the eyes now to the right eye the, again once again you can observe how I approach the eye take a notice how I use the outlines I have these areas drawn and know how to you know follow them and this is Oh uh, yeah, there you go. How you fill in these gaps is very important. An 8B pencil is really helpful in getting a certain you know, darker color of gray. I get a lot of questions about what kind of pencils I use, what kind of paper I use. Well, this is the 8B pencil. For the first time, I've used an 8B pencil. Otherwise, I mostly use 6B pencil. But 8B is really good. It gives you very, very strong color of black. And it's very soft. This particular pencil is really soft. I don't know which company this was, you know, whatever. Uh, I think it's regular 8B pencil, so use it and uh, it really helps you to get that darker color of black. If you try using 5B pencil to attain this, you'll end up messing up your drawing. If you want a very strong color of black, I always use an 8B pencil. It is not doing the thing we like to do, but liking the thing we have to do that makes life blessed. I think uh, these kind of quotes are very relevant in this drawing, especially to my narration, the kind of narration that I'm giving. This makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Well, all these quotes are fine, but there's something that Goethe said that I, which I really like to quote. It's like, I call architecture frozen music. Isn't that awesome? That's something from a rock song or something. Alright, so that was the end of the video and uh, thanks a lot for listening to my blabbering because I think I'm very good at blabbering because while I'm sketching, I don't talk at all. I just listen to audiobooks. I find them very helpful. So this is the first part which is coming to an end. There are, there are going to be two more parts. If you have the guts enough to watch them, well, you are welcome. Subscribe and like.